How's it? Hey, Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Ha ha ha. Yeah, um. Good morning, it's uh. It's uh. August, I mean, October 3rd. 3rd. Little vlog, little news. Well, one thing about the. The little vlog is uh, I stayed up way late, <laughs> way late last night. <laughs> late, too late, too early. <laughs> oh, I didn't get much sleep at all. Why are you here? I'm I'm here to make fun of the news and have fun with that. <sighs> so, uh, uh, Michael came back from uh, Arizona. <laughs> Africa, whatever. He's back. I already said about that. I already mentioned that. But to re I come and go. reminder that he's gonna go. He's in film school, and now he's gonna start another semester of that. And that semester has screenwriting, as if script writing classes in it. And we've already started our movie. It's in. Uh, development I think was what the word would be and so basically we went over the tagline log line but we don't have the story down like a general idea because it's science fiction right so it's like what so what's gonna happen with this and that so we had hashed out last night a good portion of what that little synopsis or summary of the story is so we can write the little log line. The little log line is like the couple couple sentences. In a world where the astronaut goes into space and then he comes back and let me show you. Fucking weird. Let me show ya. <laughs> he picks up a girlfriend coming back from space. <laughs> Well, it's more than that, but, uh, you know, I mean, it's, uh, we had hashed it, it's just a long time. So, there's lo uh, vlog, now news, it's see like my brain. So, I'm going to try to make this really quick, if I possibly can. So, there's election stuff in the USA, there's only just like, what, a couple weeks or something? It's just like, it's like November, so it's a month, no. So, like about a month, we got our most dreaded but most important presidential election involved with whatever else who else we vote for so Give it to me. it's all it's kind of in that neck and neck, neck area that's where they're battling over the swing, swing states, states so, so intensively and trying to trying to breach out and reach out and, and, reach out, out, and, uh, and uh, all this all kind of stuff and, 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 and now uh, uh, uh Kamala Harris is doing okay with her stuff. And on the Trump side, uh, Giuliani, Guli? Giuliani. <laughs> it's hollow. Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! Happy Halloween. Giuliani. That's right. That's how it is now for uh, October. His butcher is coming out against he's like a uh, top lawyer january 6th guy of, only for you is already uh, uh terrible stuff and uh his wife came out against him or his daughter came out against him and for trump his wife melania came out is that the right ivanka whatever the wife won <laughs> she's married to his daughter I can't mix stuff. It's so cuckoo. His wife, Trump's wife, came out against him. It's <laughs> and um, stuff. But the main whack-a-mole if you is that uh, Jack um, be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack o' lantern, Jack Smith has lit a new candlestick. Jack Smith has, they can't do the January 6th trial before the election, but they can uh, introduce the evidence that he has. He has the goods for January 6th, and he's brought up 
about these charges or introducing this friggin' evidence. So as he introduces this evidence, it gets shown in court. It gets heared out, aired out in court because there's an immunity from the Supreme Court for presidential duty stuff if it's presidential duty. So they have to find out if it's presidential duty stuff that he's uh, immune from prosecution or if it's not presidential duty and then they can get prosecuted for. So in the airing of that, a bunch of January 6th stuff is being aired out in court public uh, record style. So now the public gets to hear about all of this before the election. And it's gnarly stuff about January 6th. <laughs> See, apparently if, if Trump's telling the Vice President Pence at the time what to do, uh, it's not immune. That's that's in the category because it's not under Pence's job description, so it can't be a duty thing. So it's just, it's there it is. It's basically stuff that he can get. Now, the only way he can get away um, from judicial, and it's pretty slam dunk kind of was what I hear. So the way, he, the only, now, the only option he has, Trump, for this is that he gets elected president gets an attorney general that dismisses everything or he waves the magic wand upon himself <laughs> to uh make himself pardoned he's gonna pardon himself or get the general so that's the only thing you got going on and there's one more thing oh yeah oh yeah we gotta turn this on why didn't i turn this on there look at that that's fun yeah it's a clock see look at this See, now I can move it around. It's supposed to be time. It's, I don't know if it's correct time. Anyways, one more thing. The report for the Maui wildfire that burned down Lahaina and killed about 99 something people, under 100 people, whatever it is, the, it, it, it killed people and just demolished Maui. It's mostly Lahaina. The report of how that happened came out. Now the report of how that happened came out. There's there's ambulance chaser TV ads. If you if if they unleashed the horrors of hell and killed you people, come to our attorney office and we'll get fight for justice. It's literally ambulance chaser stuff. I it, it, it's, it's sickening, but yeah. It, it, so um let's let's go to Let's go to that before I, I just uh a servant, pardon for all my sins, and the power to confront this cruel evil. No, no, Hawaii news, yes, yay. How it started, yes, it is Maui news. So this report uh, re-energizing the down power lines, the deadly Maui wildfires investigation files. So the the termite eaten um, power lines up a telephone pole. Termite eaten it. High heavy duty heavy duty wind blew them over, and they, instead of turning off the electricity, I don't know. They kept it on. They didn't put out the alarm because they figured they didn't put out the tsunami alarm because they figured everyone would run away from the ocean into the blazing fire that's already raging they figure oh there we go and they just went into the fire so we went to so it's all kinds of stupid stuff but all of this stuff um they re-energized the power lines and it is so, so much to bring sorry, and now that's gonna be not it's like yeah now they got mm, stuff okay and in football number one versus number two no bathroom jokes <laughs> and more football see <laughs> We're just gonna leave it at that for right now. <laughs> uh, perhaps a little back in the day, yeah? Uh, yeah, something just relax. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, back in the day. Remember back in the day when you want to just relax in 1970? You just kind of go there and, uh, and crank the old machine up. This is like, this is a, is a printing press or is this a shave ice machine? They look like that. Idol artist Julia de May Frejour. Celebrated his 83rd birthday by printing and etching at the University of Hawaii.
the printmaking shop, so it is. While she concentrated, 70 of her fellow artists came into the wood shop and surprised her with her birthday cake. And, There's a birthday cake, went to smash this up in there. Just like it was okay. There you go, thank you, that was it. Okay, football again. <laughs> uh, oh, political cartoon. Why leaves change color in the fall? What do you mean you're still undecided? Change color is in fall. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it'd be funny, but I'm tired. I guess it's this one, because, yeah, there's a war going on. <laughs> what are we going to do? Oh, wait, how does that work? <laughs> because like, one at a time already. Okay. U.S. must push Israel to accept Gaza ceasefire. The Democratic National Convention was a great success and real morale boost. However, the DNC's decision to not allow a Palestinian American to address the convention was unfair and a mistake. Over 40,000 civilians in Gaza, including many women and children, have been killed. Israel's weapons of slaughter were supplied by the U.S. Thousands in Gaza are now facing starvation. Hospitals, schools, and refugee shelters have been destroyed by Israel. The U.S. government is an accomplice to Israel's months-long campaign of bombings and slaughter in Gaza and to Israel's decades of mistreatment and evictions of Palestinians from their homes and lands. It is time for our government to stop spend sending weapons to Israel and insist on permanent ceasefire, return of hostages, release of Palestinian prisoners, and restoration of Palestinian rights. John Wittek Kamehameha Heights. Well, thank you, John, for uh, expressing your concern for Palestinian rights and all that. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, mm, um, yeah, um, gee, I mean, there's just tons of stain on that's why I avoided. One thing is probably too late for the uh, hostages, sorry to say. May God rest their souls. I don't think you're going to get hostages back. I mean, they're already doing ground, ground thing. Where it's at right now is... Israel got one of the bad guys. Iran, right, the the hub of all the terrorists, bombed into um, Tel Aviv, uh, and now uh, Israel is vowing retribution. And Iran's already declared that anything you do will pound back on you. But right now, nothing is flying as far as missiles. So, not to escalate into World War III, because Iran likes to get backed by Russia, etc. <clears throat> as far as the U.S. supplying them weapons, gosh, everyone is counting on the U.S. to supply them weapons. And um, the Palestines, I want to say, uh, were never historically uh, of people of that area. <laughs> the Jewish people were. There was, and the Palestinians is not like, it's something that was invented in World War II after they just sort of, it was a British thing that followed a Roman thing. I saw this documentary on it. There, there's not really a Palestinian people. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, <laughs> check out the actual history. Yeah, but uh, it's very controversial. So yeah, okay, that's enough of that. Okay, uh, 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 what do I do? I have to go here. Okay, long day. I hope this isn't long. Okay, have a good um, what day is it? Thursday. Have a good Thursday. Aloha to you. Aloha. Uh, there you go. I think I'm gonna edit now. Go back to sleep. Okay, I love you. I love you. Bye.